This is Mike Mozart of the Toy Channel and Jeepers Media on YouTube with one of the most smoking board games of all time, the Mask 3D board game. This ginormous board game sets up a complete representation of Edge City. It's punched out of heavy-duty cardboard and it assembles in minutes. It's actually very well designed and very heavily constructed. You could actually dismantle this game and store it back in the box without destroying it like most of these other constructed games of the time period. You set up the game in the base of the box that it came in here. You punch these pieces out and it's amazing. If you look closely, there's the Coco Bongo Club. There is the Edge City Bank. And this is a complete representation of Edge City, including the bridge where Jim Carrey's character Stanley Ipkiss discovers the mask. And at the end, you end the game by throwing the mask back in the river. Wait a second, there's a mask here? Yeah, there's actually a mask. Here's the mask that you put over the little Jim Carrey Stanley Ipkiss clones that you see around the board. Each one is standing in front of a representation of Mrs. Peenman's apartment building. And your job is to retrieve items that are placed all around the board and place them back on top of your building. There's a clock, there's Milo, there's his pajamas. And the last thing that has to be returned is they make you return the money to Edge City Bank. You can't make the scene without the green. Um, it's actually a very fun game to play. You roll this dice here, right? And you have to move the required number of places. Any spot you land on, you flip it over. Like say if Yellow Jim Carrey turned that over, he doesn't take it or do anything with it. He turns it back over because the green Jim Carrey has to return that to the bank himself. But you keep playing this game until you roll this. And that will let you land on any space you want, including the mask space. Because anyone that lands on that mask space has the honor of wearing this mask. Anybody that wears that mask on the next roll can go to any space on the entire board and try to collect up all these tokens. Every time you flip one over though, if it's not your color, you have to turn it back over. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to play the game. It moves fast. It's lots of fun. What more could you want? Except for Tina Carlisle. She's probably in the Coco Bongo Club. She makes no appearance here. And it doesn't seem to bother me that there are a number of Jim Carrey clones involved in this game. But if you like the movie The Mask, definitely find one of these on eBay. It's a fantastic game. It's beautiful setup. I mean, the cover of this box is frameable. This is another vintage board game review by Mike Mozart of The Toy Channel.